Welcome back to our Econ Evaporator Controller uh, setup guide. Today we'll be discussing about basic controller settings uh, during first installation. So to change the refrigerant on the controller, uh, starting at the home menu, uh, space temp, we hit select, get to the settings screen, hit select again, uh, and then scroll down towards as equipment. This is where we're going to go to the equipment settings. Uh, and then once we're in the equipment settings, uh, then we start scrolling down to the refrigerant setting. While highlighting it, then we hit select, and you're going to see the uh, refrigerant uh, being uh, start flashing. Uh, every unit comes default set to 448A. Uh, there's eight different ones uh, in our uh, according to our uh, instruction manual. So whatever selection you make, uh, then hit select again to confirm, and that's it. The controller will automatically recalculate superheat. Uh, so this change can be made on the fly, uh, and it's uh, you know it automatically recalculates superheat, and the valve just keeps metering accordingly. To adjust the set point on the controller, again starting with the home screen, uh, you hit select to get to the settings sub menu. Hit select again, and that's where your set point uh, configuration is located. So while highlight highlighting the configuration you want to change, you hit select. And you're going to see the number at the bottom start flashing. That's, that's to let you know that you can adjust using the up and down uh, buttons. And then select the desired set point, and then hit select again to confirm. We will discuss now how to set the time and date settings on the controller. Uh, and this is important on this, on this controller because of the uh, alarm history. Uh, the alarm history uh, is accessed on the service screen. And then you scroll down, you see alarm history. And you see that timestamp, uh, date and time of any past alarms that the controller had flagged. So this is the reason why we set time and date setting. So starting on the home screen, we scroll down to and settings, scroll down past equipment settings, and then you'll see time and date. Then we hit select, you set your year, same thing, hit select, select the current year, then select the current month, day, hour, and minute. Once all that is done, uh, that's how you set up the internal clock for the controller, so any, any, time, any alarms that get logged in the history get uh, stamped with the proper uh, uh, time and date. To change the uh, superheat set point on the controller, starting at the home screen uh, with space time shown, you hit the select button to get to the settings menu, and then hit select again to get to the sub menu. Then once there, scroll down to equipment, and then hit select to go to the equipment settings. In here, uh, among all the uh, other controller settings, is where you find superheat set point. And there it is. And so again, to uh, change it, just like any other uh, setting on the controller, uh, once it's highlighted, hit select, the number will start flashing. That's to let you know that then you can adjust it up or down. So let's go ahead and change it to seven degrees. And then hit select again to confirm the change. In order to change the uh, set point con controller, uh, again, you go to your settings, scroll down to equipment, Hit select again to the, go to the equipment settings, and then look for set point control. And then here, from here, again, you can adjust it. Hit select again, so it will start flashing, and then we can adjust it. And that's that's the adjustment for set point control. Set point control is your basically your uh, box temperature differential. Mm -hmm.